Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> I surrender, I surrender! All right, pal. Get ready for the day, buddy. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Do we have a gun? What's up? Do we have a gun? Why do you ask that, kiddo? Can I play with it? No, no, absolutely not. It's not a toy, you know that. Do I? I bet it looks like one. Yeah, well, it's not. Anyway, I need it to protect you, your sister and mom. From what? From bad guys, like on TV. But what about the eight kids who got shot every day by mistake? Their daddies probably thought they were safe too. Where'd you hear that? TV. Yeah, well, maybe we don't believe everything we hear on TV. Where do you keep it? <laughs> it's hidden. I bet it's on the top shelf of the closet, under your sweatshirts. Is it loaded? It's not. I, I keep the bullets. In the boots with the red laces, in the chest beside the bed, I haven't found them yet, but I'm sure I can. You always told me to be curious. Remember when I found my Christmas gifts? I'm a good climber, you know. No. No, that's not what I meant. Look, I, I need to be ready if someone breaks in. What about when it's just me and Mom? You taught me to be brave. I could use a gun to protect her. No, Justin, I promise. I'll teach you how to handle a gun when you're old enough. And what if I don't make it to old enough? I could get bullied and decide it's too much for me. It would be so easy with our gun. Our gun? No, buddy. My gun. But it is our gun. In our home. Happens all the time. I'll make sure that doesn't happen. I'm always here for you. But, Dad, you're not always here. <laughs> We've been married about 15 months, and uh, we happened to meet on the internet, by the way. You know, at first, you know, I was like, mm, I don't know, maybe he's from Chicago, he might be a <laughs> slick. <laughs> and we got to talking, and um, I realized he was a man of integrity. This is the best age ever. <laughs> because you've been through some experiences and you know some things that you didn't understand earlier in life. You can appreciate it, I think, now, that, um, uh, that you can look back on certain things. You know, true passion is grown out of understanding and knowing someone. The power of our love is, is integrity and honesty. We just tell each other the truth, even when we don't. Agree. But, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we agree to disagree. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I love for you is? What? Genuine. <laughs> and, and real. My love for you is complete. 145 over 92. 180 over 111. 182 over 100. And I had a heart attack and a cardiac arrest and then a stroke. This is what high blood pressure looks like. You might not feel its symptoms, but the results from a heart attack or stroke are far from invisible or silent. My memory is shot. When I woke up, I couldn't speak. I can't button up a shirt. I can't run. I've had to learn to swallow again. That's the only movements that I have. And I'm 33, so I never see this coming. If I would have followed a treatment plan, I would not be in this situation. Had I done this, had I done that, hell, I messed up. Get back on your plan, or talk with your doctor to create an exercise, diet, and medication plan that works for you. Go to loweryourhpp.org. I had to tell everything's changed. I had to tell. One forty-five over ninety-two. 180 over 111. 180. Yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> Why did the girl ask the mushroom to dance? Because he was a fun guy. <laughs> what do you call a pig that knows karate? Pork chop. <laughs> Why was the basketball court all wet? Why? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. <laughs> Can I tell you another one? Um, so, how does a tissue dance? 
put a little boogie on it. What's Beethoven's favorite fruit? Banana. <laughs> oh. What is a boxer's favorite drink? Fruit punch. <laughs> 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 Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> Why did the girl ask the mushroom to dance? Because he was a fun guy. <laughs> what do you call a pig that knows karate? Pork chop. <laughs> Why was the basketball court all wet? Why? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. <laughs> Can I tell you another one? Um, so how does a tissue dance? Put a little boogie on it. What's Beethoven's favorite fruit? Banana. <laughs> oh. What is a boxer's favorite drink? Fruit punch. <laughs> 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 Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is another magnificent, marvelous, and mindful Monday, people. And you are tuned in right now to the Clark TV Network with the aspiring artist show with none other than them royalty boys. I'm your boy, Stony Hill. Hey, and you got your boy, Cat9, in the building, man, on Clark TV, though. Yes, sir. Hey, man. <laughs> Yeah, so it got to sound good, it, don't it? It does. It flows. Like, uh, they want to know what it's about. Oh, what they we need to tell them what it's about, people. Hey. Go check it out right <laughs> now. ClarkTVNetwork.com, people. I'm telling you, August, I believe, 25th. August 25th, y'all, it's some big stuff happening, people. Definitely. Some big stuff happening. You can go check it out. Uh, uh, get your channels that you want, people. Get get your sports channels. Get your, 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 your kids' channels. channels. Your movie channels. Uh-huh. Good. I'm getting it, because I'm going to be transparent. My favorite show on there. I'm going to leave it at that. Ooh. All right? I'm going to leave it at that. All right? You Last sounded, season, and I'm feeling real strong right now. You sound empowered over there. <laughs> Are you empowered by the, by the Clark TV network? But bad to it, man. Keyword network now. <laughs> hey, we, we moving on. <laughs> but make sure, man, y'all go check it out. ClarkTVNetwork.com. Uh, and, and, and go check it out, man. Some good Great big things going on, man. But we got a wonderful guest oh, yes, in the building yes, today, man. And uh, I, we seen her perform at an event. <laughs> and she got up there. And Kyle Nine looked over at me, kind of gave me a little elbow tap. He said, <laughs> she going in. I said, yeah, she got she got a little praise of worship going on, but it got a little funk with hey, it, that, though. That, that, jo that joy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about that, but that joy. Yes, sir. <laughs> But we got the wonderful Miss Shay Scott. How are you today? I am great. That's I am awesome. great. I'm great. So I'm just excited to be here, and I want to thank you guys for such a wonderful opportunity. True. Yes, yeah, it's just a great Monday. Yes, it is. <laughs> I was glad to have you in the building with us today. But let's just start start off with this here. What 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 got you started with music? Now I know you got a whole lot of platforms, but let's just start with the music side right now. It started back in nineteen. <laughs> but no, See, what had had? no, go ahead. Seriously though, like I pretty much then dis I, I discovered I had a voice when I was in the fifth grade. So okay. I had to, you know, do this Christmas solo, you know, okay. to sing with the angels. And um oh. after, no, I'm stuck. <laughs> so I had to get that, that out. It just kind of took off from there. So I just started, you know, I was in choir from then on, like all through, you know, I, well, I started dancing in preschool, but then singing. I started singing in elementary school, then it all went all the way up to college and outside of college. So I've always wrote, you know, I started out with the R&B and rap, mm -hmm. and you know, I was doing pretty good, I was doing pretty good. But you know, I was like, let me do something different. And my mom, she was always like, you don't sing gospel, you don't sing gospel. And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> so, let me, let me, 
Now going back over here to this R&B, R&B rap, but then I was like, you know what? Let me try it out. Let me just see. And so most of the time I just freestyle, you know, I was like, I'm on the way to work. Mm-hmm. I just, you know, started singing something. So the particular hook, which joy came into play, I just kept remembering the hook. Like the hook just never left. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and write a track. Like, let me write some verses to it and see what happens. And here we go. And here we go. So mm-hmm. I reached out to one of my um, close friends. Like my brother Pierre, uh, we actually went to church, um, Luther Fields of Baptist Church, mm-hmm. um, years ago when I was in middle school. Okay. And he and his brother, his brother Aaron, he's touring, he's doing a, such an awesome job. And Pierre, he's like the beat machine. Like, and so I reached out to him. I was like, Hey, Pierre, I really need, you know, your help. I got this song, and I just need a dope track. He's like, I got you. So it went from there to here we go. Joy. <laughs> hey, we're gonna get into it, man. I'm telling you, the thing just is if foot stomp. Am, am I gonna take it back old school when I say boogieing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it, it, it definitely has a groove put your, to it. Put your stamp on it. It don't matter. Hey, it definitely has a groove to it. Like, it definitely well, you, does. You, you're gonna get into it and just the whole energy she put behind it, the energy that she puts behind it is just like it draws you in to where whatever you have going on, yeah. you about to lift them burdens. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and the about whole, to lift them. whole thing was about, I just wanted to create a art that would make people feel great, mm-hmm. you know, get them started within their day. Like, I've had so many people that I know, people that I don't know say, oh, my God, I love your song. It's amazing. Some people put it on their workout playlist. Mm-hmm. You know, some people ride out to it on their way to work just to uplift them. So, you know, that's really what it's all about. I just wanted to create you know, a piece of art that was fun and, you know, exciting and just brought joy on people's faces. Well, it definitely brings joy, as the title <laughs> says. But tell me this, when you was making it, did you did you know you was going with the little gospel, with the little hip-hop and the little R&B in there, or was it just... You know what? Originally, it was more like, pat your, you know, clap your hands, pat right, your Right, because that you get that... But he, Pierre, transformed it into something totally different that kind of related to all age mm-hmm. groups. And it definitely does that. And That's so, one thing I know. Yeah, and that was like, wow. Like, I wasn't looking. I know I wanted to create something where everyone could remember and sing along. Right. I love sing along songs because they're memorable mm-hmm. and it's a lot of participation. Right. So right. I was like, okay, I definitely want to hook that everyone can re- remember. And also to sing along, and that's it was inspired. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. So uh, looking at your, your your bio and realizing that there is some music involved in, I guess, your first pursuit of education, mm-hmm. and I guess what what coming from that particular background and you know now finding yourself in the music, do you find yourself using a lot of what was learned? I mean, to, you know to, to forward. Yes. I mean, because you have a lot of things going on, which we're going to touch into everything else. Yes. But you as an artist, like, so what, what 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 do you find being beneficial that you learn from taking those classes? Starting out at Morris Brown um, as a music industry ma- major, I did not realize the depth when it came, came to, like, contracts, mm-hmm. you know, your SR, your PR, you know, what... Um, just knowing the basics really helps a lot because you have a lot of not so good people that will kind of draw you in to signing something. And right. you're like, wait a minute. Them snakes. They let me, oh, you know, they, you know, they out there. So mm-hmm. I was like, you know, things like that and just knowing how to copyright your music, the process behind it, it just really helped knowing because when you go in and you're like, oh, so let me go ahead and get this PA and, oh, I need you to go ahead and sign for your SR. People will be like, oh, does she really know what she's talking about? Right. And, yes, most definitely, I'm truly grateful that I did have the opportunity to take those courses because they helped a lot, as well as theory, um, just knowing chords. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to play piano. Hey. Um, but uh, after I passed the class, I was kind of like, all right. So, <laughs> but <laughs> I... <laughs> But I played the violin, the viola, the bass, and I also played piano, which piano, 
I still have my books, so I can, okay. you know. Every now and then, you yeah, get up there. I can go and, you know, practice. I wish I would have kept going, you know, but it's all good. You know, it's always time. As long as I have breath in my body, you I see, can always go. Hey, and, you see how she downplay that? <laughs> you see how she downplay that? Yeah. I tell you what, but you know how sometimes churches need them random piano players just out of nowhere? <laughs> Oh, we got I, a surprise for him. I know she, who the yeah. She, she I know who the know car that. now. <laughs> and, and I'm saying, like before the show don't over with, we gonna pull the piano. We got back in the studio. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> we gonna get a live a uh, freestyle right here Ooh, on the wee. piano. But no, nah. Mary had a little lamb on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, all right now. You say you grew up finding out you knew you could sing, you know, from doing the Christmas program. Mm-hmm. And I mean, at what point did it happen for you to where the Lord came in and He pretty much had the influence on your life? You know what? Over time, you know, you learn different experiences, and you music is all about being able to relate to the masses. Everyone has gone through, you know, heartache, pain. Right. Um, trials and tribulations. So it's more so of creating a song that would inspire that person within that moment. And I think that's where music started, whether R&B, rap, or what have you. It was based on life experiences, whether they were upbeat, uh, whether they were sad, you know, it just kind of helps to put it on paper not necessarily knowing exactly what it's going to turn into, but, you know, I will always write poems. I mean, it started back when I stayed on Boulevard with my sister and my cousin. You know, I had this song called I See My Fellow, you know, and I I was the lead, and they were my background singers. Right. And I used to beat on the dresser, you know, and I used to tell them when to sing. (laughs) (laughs) To this day. It's classic. We all remember I See My Fellow, but (laughs) it was just being creative. And having fun, but at the same time, like I said, it's just about putting it on paper and not necessarily on, because everybody go through things, and it's just different time periods. Right. That's you know, true. so true. that's what made me get more into just writing and saying, you know what, let me put some music to this and let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we know we got joy. We know we got joy. Is there anything we can expect in the future? You know what? Yeah. Actually, so I'm cur- I've already got another song in play, mm-hmm. but it's more so me getting into the studio and actually putting that project together, which is more so of a praise and worship. Um, okay. Slow, you know, not too slow, but slow enough where the congregation and everyone can minister together. Mm-hmm. So I, in, I went into this saying, you know, let's see what happens. And then Pierre, he was like, you know, you might want to write some more. And I was like, mm, do you think so? <laughs> he was like, yeah, I think you need to write some more. I was like, okay. So, yeah, you will expect some more coming. Soon. That's awesome. That's awesome. He sees something. Well, I'm just saying, <laughs> I think he should definitely. <laughs> hey, definitely. Because she got the voice there. Thank you, mm-hmm. thank you, thank you, thank you. Presentation too? Thank you, thank you. Cause we, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the presentation because knowing that music is not the only thing you do, but I'm not going to jump in. Stoney, go ahead and finish up. Yeah, see, see, I was just about to jump into that. <laughs> <laughs> Segway. <laughs> I caught myself. Tell me about something in my shirt. Shut up. But truly, man, knowing that uh, music is not the only thing, let's let's talk about this 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 makeup. Mm. Now, how'd you get started in that? Okay, well, to be honest with you, I actually got laid off from okay. my job, and I've always been good with, you know, drawing arts, whatever. So people used to always approach me and say, hey, who did this, who did that? And I'd be like, me, but it wasn't ever into full effect until I lost my job. So I was like, you know what? Not licensed, I'm self-taught. And I had um, a young lady by the name of Cookie. She actually you know, brought me in, um, another young lady named Shantae. So I was basically going to different shops and they would allow me to, you know, do makeup. And so it just started from there and progressed from there. And I just started learning more. And then four months later, I ended up getting my job back. (laughs) 
So all my clients was like, okay, so what that mean? I was like, oh, I'm still doing makeup. And they was like, oh, okay. I was just trying to make sure. So, <laughs> Lock you down. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. So I have been, you know, I, I it just really took off. I've been, you know, in places that I never thought I would be. I've had the opportunity to um, travel. You know, I've had people to fly me out. Um, just so I can be a part of their wedding to do mm. their makeup and um, bodybuilding competitions. Okay. Um, and on the set of Candy Coated Nights with Candy. Yes, yeah. Um, and um, Letitia, um, he or she has celebrity closets. But I've just, you know, been graced at how I got that. I was just shopping. And the guy, he looked at my face and I looked at him. He was like, Oh, who did your makeup? And I was like, Me. He's like, can you be at such and such and such at six thirty? I was like, yes. Didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> <Just like that. laughs> didn't, know, hey. didn't know what I was doing, but he was like, I need you to. I, uh, it's for Candy, and I was like, Candy, who? He's like, Candy Coney Nights. I will shoot you. So I went, and the OMG girls were there, and it was just great just to be around so many people. And I've always respected Star Space because they're regular people. Mm -hmm. You know, they're yeah. just a different status, and so everybody was super nice and. You know, this is just, it has really opened many doors for me. And just from working with, you know, different people to being invited to different, you know, um, things that they have going on in Atlanta, right. learning different things or what have you, it's just been amazing. I'm still learning. You know, I don't ever look at myself as the best in the whole wide world because I feel like we all can learn. The, as long as you're living, you're always learning. True, amen. And it's so, very important. you know, I've always been open to see what someone else is doing or just ask a question um, just to see, you know, whatever whatever else I can learn. So, right. but yes, makeup has been great. Hold on. I got to ask this question because, okay. you know, maybe this shows how dumb I am. Okay. All right. But I got to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. No question is a dumb question if you want to know the answer. That's, that's true. That's right? true. Right? Hey. Okay. But I don't care. <laughs> I'm just going to say, the disclaimer not going to save you if it's like right. dumber than dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I put it out there just for that. I'm a, go ahead. But I heard you say like the, the, the bodybuilding events now, that's yeah. got to be a different type from just the. The beat beat. Yeah, I mean, it just depends. Like, I, it depends on what they want. Now, I don't have to necessarily do the airbrush with hmm. the body, but it's more so face. Face, which right. Which their shade but I'm changes still saying. completely. Okay. So, just knowing how to blend all that in it is a technique. Okay. And true, there true. have been some times where I may not have their shade, but I can make it. So, we're going to make wild. it work. <laughs> <laughs> I might be going a little bit too far with this, but mm -hmm. anybody with, with freckles from the face down, then maybe you had to kind of blend all that to, to make it. To be honest with you, those with freckles love their freckles, and I'm able to okay, work embrace around it. it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. They just embrace it, man. It, it, yeah. it's, just, it's just so much art out here. Freckles cute. You know. I got some freckles. Really? <laughs> I got a little bit. <laughs> well, hey, I, I, I got moles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. Oh, <laughs> I try to get in somewhere, right? But uh, so, all right, now we talk about artists. We talk mm -hmm. about now a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. And I see also where Mass Media, because uh, you said you left Mars Ooh, Brown. Yes. And you went to Clark, Atlanta yes. for Mass Media. Yes. I um, had to change my major after okay. <laughs> I had transferred um, due to um, the transitioning with more, more uh, yeah. accreditation right, thing. Right. So mm -hmm. um, I get over there and I didn't want to be, be a music education major. So that's what made me go to what was also of interest, which was um, mass media, arts, and radio, television, film. Okay. Um, and kind of write that together, too, yeah. I mean, to some degree. Yeah. And I honestly, I still use it. I still edit, um, which I do have a um, makeup blog on um, YouTube as well, Shay Shay Anyway. So I still Catch the y'all use kiss. it, <laughs> which I, you know, film. Then I make my edits, put my music in there, and... So I still apply it. 
it's just still, it wasn't more so for me to go into like news. I wanted to be more so like entertainment, like okay. BT, VH1, you know, interview people on the red carpet, not necessarily be, you know, in the news realm. Um, although I, I did um, WB intern, CBS, and it was more so in studio camera work, editing, and what have you more behind the scenes until one of them was like, Shay, have you ever thought about being in front of the camera? And I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer not. You know, not yeah. news, no. They was like, you have such a great smile, you should try it out. And I was like, nah. yeah, but no, I didn't do it. So, <laughs> but I'm still able to be creative, you know, film and, but you know, like uh, one, once upon a time, I would do like mini videos where they are like tributes to, you know, with a loved one or just putting pictures together over the years, things like that to right. have a, you know, a great, you know, sense of video at heart that you can always go back and look at. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I'm just seeing how like all of it really like is, is tying mm -hmm. into something bigger. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if that was like plan for yourself as far as like you know what I kind of know exactly how I'm about to set this up or just by design it just seemed like it fell in place like it just fell in place I mean I've always known that I wanted to do music hands down but I also believe that God gives you many talents and I believe that you should use every talent and I always said that I would use every talent until one talent got me in the door or two talents got me in the door. So I don't ever put any talent that I have on the back burner, which is doing makeup, hair, writing, singing, you know, dance, what have you. I use all of them. Now, it's interesting you say that. I'm going to be transparent about that because I find myself having multiple things, mm -hmm. you know, that I can creatively come up with, you know, music, and, mm -hmm. you know, because I also cut. See? Hair as well, See? style a little bit as well, mm -hmm. and you know even now with teaching, mentoring and so forth, but you know you just try to you, you find yourself trying to see which one maybe to put down or you know which one do I need to put more energy into, and you know you're just wondering like okay, because you have different people that have this thought process to where. You know, if you if you're not putting all your focus on one, then you know you're not really getting nowhere. Mm -hmm. Though it seems like you are, nothing is really prospering because you're kind of spread out, as they would say. I don't look at it like that because I, like I said before, if the gift was given to you, it was for you to use, and it's you never know who's watching you. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why I say I just go out there and I do. Whatever it is within that moment, I do a great job at it. And because I know there are many people who wish they had a gift. Some people are great organizers. And that's a, that's something that people are paying money for. Right, some people right. Just to get some order. Or clean. Yeah. Or cook. Like, everybody has a different talent. But I know that many people have multiple. And like I said, I always believe that you should use every talent that you have. Because if you use it, you don't ever have any regrets to say... Man, I wish I would have tried this, or I wish I would have tried that. You don't have, you don't live with regrets. You just do it. And that's an interesting perspective too, because I've, you know, adopted that as well. As far as I'm gonna just try to keep carrying all of them mm -hmm. until one of them just pop yeah. off. And it get, let me ask you this: Do it get a little discouraging sometimes when it's just oh. like, all right, now what oh. in the world? I mean, like, I've some had, gotta happen. Now. I've had my moments with makeup. I'm like, ain't nobody called me yet, but. Next month, boom, 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 boom. You just have to have some downtime. True. And that's how I look at it. Just downtime. Just a little break. Because God about to send something your way. And you got to be mentally and physically prepared. So you just got to take that break. That's it. Hey. <laughs> just dropping some jewels over here. Hey, some media. <laughs> Getting ready. But um, it's awesome. I think it's about that time for us to go ahead and get into this music okay. that we've been talking about. Okay. Yes, sir. With Joy up in this studio. Yes, Joy. yes sir. So uh, we're going to do you, let you do the honors of okay. go ahead and introducing this song. This is your girl, Shay Scott. Joy, make sure you tune in. It's on all mobile outlets from iTunes, Tidal, Google Play, 
wherever, you name it, is there. Mm-hmm. So I hope you enjoy it as much as everyone I know have and myself. Yes. <laughs> Turn up. <laughs> <laughs> we got yeah. Shay Scott. Uh. Similar napkins. Similar napkins. That PRD. Mostly happy, not sad. That's me, I'm Not really tripping, ain't mad. That's me, I'm Cause when you look at what you have. That's me, I'm All of the good, I wait about. That's me, Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Independent Connection. It's me, Timelin Atkins, that PR diva. And I am here, as always, to let you know exactly what those awesome independent artists are out here doing as they rep the kingdom with excellence. I'm always super excited to let you know who my featured artist of the week is. And this week, it is none other than gospel recording artist Shawnee Wright Davidson. She has a new song out titled Mind Blown from her up-and-coming project One Kingdom that's blazing across the airwaves. 
reaching the masses, not only here in the States, but also abroad. God, I'm my and I'm so into you. Shawnee's love for Christ can be heard in her beautiful anointed voice. I recently had the pleasure of catching up with her to see what was the inspiration behind Mind Blown. Hey, this is Shawnee Wright, and I want to tell you a little bit about what inspired me to write Mind Blown. I can just remember just being at home and just really praying to God and trying to figure out, you know, what was the next song that I needed to write. And I could just think about everything that God has done for me and my family and financially with my children. And I've always said God just continues to blow my mind. And I just remember just having that in my head. I couldn't get my mind is blown. It's so blown away by his love, by his grace. I just every time I think about his love, you know, how he died for us, how he came and he made the ultimate sacrifice. And that's why I want to give everything to him. I sacrifice everything with love, with hope. And so that's where Mind Blown came from. Well, guys, you heard it straight from Shawnee Wright Davidson. And over here in the Independent Connection, we see you. We see you out here repping the kingdom with excellence. If you have not downloaded her single, we highly recommend that you do so. Mind Blown will truly bless your soul. Well, my time is almost up, but as always, I love to highlight as many independent artists as I can. So Sky Jasper, Tennessee Mass Choir, Joanna Hill McGill, and Mr. Dale. We see you. We see you out here repping the kingdom with excellence. Continue to do all that you do. We have your back. Thanks, guys, so much for hanging out here with me today in the Independent Connection. It's been me, Timlin Atkins, that PR diva. Connect with me on social media, on Facebook, Independent Connection, Instagram, Independent Connection, and on Twitter, Independent Con 6. Until next time, blessings! Man, I mean, I just I'm filled with joy over here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm, I'm saying? You. you can't help but be. Hey, yeah. I can't help it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm filled <laughs> can't with help joy. But be. I, I, I got I got to throw this out here with that song, man. There's some things that just just flowed in my spirit when okay. I was leading. I was like, man, this song got like a country vibe, mm-hmm. but then it got like a new school rap vibe. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it make you feel good, mm-hmm. and then you still get the gospel out of it. Yeah, like, it's a, yeah. how can you not like it? By design, I don't know strategic, but the fact that she, I, I think she be plotting. <laughs> the fact that she got that background, yeah, she 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 know how to hit them <laughs> triggers and just how to like really cater to, but at the same time get out of it what she wants. So yeah, we, we got we got to watch you because before we know it, she gonna be all in our pockets. We are gonna be buying every album. I receive it in Jesus' name. <laughs> right. <laughs> But no, but it, it's awesome to be able to just, you know, to really to bring it all together like that and, you know, just to vibe out because, yeah. you know, we, we're trying to reach people. Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, yeah. really, ultimately, yes. you know, we're yes. trying to make it about us, then I don't know. We might be in the wrong business. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> one hit, one the problem I need that for. Not yeah. even that for, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, shouts out to Miss Mary Whitley Goosby, Karan Jackson, Lucille Posey, Tangela Morris, Audrey Henderson, Kim Evans, Ashley Patrick, and uh, Lakaya Shamel Pitts, who also said, by the way, she got moles. So, you're not alone. Hey, 
You're not alone. Just wanted to throw that out. <laughs> All right. Now, moving on. All right. <laughs> we appreciate y'all listening, man. Make sure y'all keep tuning in to the Clark TV Network. That's right. That's right. That Clark TV Network. Once again, go check that out at ClarkTVNetwork.com, man. I promise you will not be disappointed. When you go look at it, it's it's unbelievable. Oh, it is. Like, Unbeatable. Subscribe, tell a friend, hey, join, all that. All that ground. For real. For real. <laughs> But I'm going to keep it going. Somebody but go ahead, man. <laughs> keep it going. <laughs> but uh, so this song right here, Joy, that was an original song. Yes. So you wrote all that. Yes. Talented people. Yes, you I know, you got a lot of folks. You got a lot of folks. Got other folks right. And there's nothing wrong with that either. Nothing, nothing I, wrong I, with I that. Write. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you need music. Little bro, write, write me some of my stuff sometimes. Because oh, yeah. he won't get in front of the camera. He will not. Oh. He will not. I'd be like, that's a good idea. You sure you don't want to put that on paper and do that yourself? Nope. Hey, well, you might need to have a conversation with him about copywriting and <laughs> publishing. <Right>. And yeah. <laughs> For Just real. Right. Yeah. That's another yeah. business right there. It so, is. Hey, it's a publishing company. Mm -hmm. Hey. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. I wanted to jump back into this, by the way, okay? Using all your gifts, because mm -hmm. we were talking about that before the break. Yeah. People, you never know what it's going to be. So use all them gifts. All of them. Okay. Use all of them. Use them. Some folks be focused on, I'm, I just want to be a rapper. That's what I want to be. I want to be a rapper. We got 3,498 plus Ooh. rappers all out right. there. All right. <laughs> I'm not saying you're not going to make ground, it. Underground, on ground, <laughs> above ground. They just everywhere. <laughs> but keep you a backup <laughs> plan for your backup plan to back up your backup plan. I'm just saying. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> But I do want to talk about this. Mm -hmm. So with all that you do have going on, mm -hmm. and I, I recently took a class, and one of the main things they was talking about was time management. How do you find yourself managing your time with everything that mm -hmm. you have going on? I'm not going to lie. It's not easy all the time. I think what helps me is creating a list. Mm -hmm. So I start with the most important and then least and kind of check as I go. Because if you don't do that, you will be all over the place. Mm. And somewhat about what you said earlier about mm -hmm. focus on this, focus on that, focus, you won't ever complete if you don't have it written down. And so when I was like, okay, I need to get into the studio, I got into the studio. So after that was done, then I started knocking everything else off my list. So you have to have to write that list. Because that's what helps me. And it's like some weekends, you know, I'm on the go. Some weekends I have downtime. Mm -hmm. So in that downtime, I then focus on, okay, what I can do next. Mm -hmm. So it's always important to have that list. I agree with you 100%. I'm going to put it like this, people. It's worked for me, and clearly it's worked for yes. her. Sometimes you just got to write these things down, yes. okay? Because you got 105,000 things going on in your mind. You, you, you're going to forget it. You write it down. It. And, and, and figure out what's yes. most important. Because mm -hmm. you ain't going to get it all done in one day. No, I mean, time. truth be told, for real. <laughs> Absolutely. And some of it probably ain't going to get done at all. <laughs> 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 to like next week. That, hey, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I got to interject. <laughs> it, this probably don't have nothing to do with what we're saying. But like, even like with, with, with doing your laundry, mm. you got to write it down. Because you'll wash. Mm -hmm. Take, what, 30 minutes to wash, an hour to wash. Another hour to fold, yeah. but then you got to write down folding. Mm, write it down. Cause folding will take about what uh, the rest of the month <laughs> before you fold them clothes. Right. That's what I'm saying. You can write it down that you're gonna do laundry, <laughs> but uh, you got to break that down. <laughs> Cause some kind of way fold. folding never gets done within that first week right. to two three weeks of washing your clothes. Yeah. Hey. Like I said, this one gonna have nothing to do. It's all right with this list, but I, right. I guess I had to throw that in. Yeah. There. So but uh, <laughs> moving right along, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, tell me this: mm -hmm. How does your faith play a part in your music and your makeup career and everything else that you got going on? Um, heavily, um, because there have been times where I did want to give up the whole makeup thing as far as writing, like doing music, because I have been. You know, on The Voice, I've been in the line and trying to get on American Idol, and I will always get to the second round and get cut. Mm. And so, P 
people's responses would be like, oh my God, they cut you. I'm like, yeah. It's like, how do you almost get there and then nothing? And so it got to the point where I was like, Lord, I know you blessed me to sing. Like, what's going on? And at the end of the day, he knows what's best for me. Mm-hmm. Pressure in the industry is heavy, and you really have to be protected. And if you're not protected, God has to, you we, you know God will always protect you. But you have to have that willpower. You have to have that strength. And me, I'm a sensitive individual. So if you say something about my family, I might come after you. That's my fool, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a lie. You know, it's a lie. She kind of scared me the way she looked at me. I might come after you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. You know what you about to say? <laughs> Timing is everything, and God also wants to see how much you want it. Mm-hmm. And so we can all have those times in our lives where we feel as though we want to give up, but it's all about faith and believing within yourself first. God will always have your back, but you have to believe in yourself because everybody's not going to believe in you. Everybody's not going to be supportive. You're going to have a lot of naysayers and people that really try to break you down, but at the end of the day, as long as you, as you have that willpower to keep going and praying through the process, and once you do it, it feels so great. It, it feels so great. And that feeling is something that I won't ever forget, being able to say I accomplished it. Right. Because it's not, it's not easy. It's just not. But you have to keep going. You got to keep going. It's at those hardest moments when you're closer to your destiny. Mm-hmm something that I've found myself believing all the more as well that the turbulence that comes Mm -hmm. like right before you're at the end or right Mm -hmm. before the breakthrough or the blessing. Yeah. It's it's, it's that turbulence of like, are you going to endure this last little phase? Yes. It's so true. And you know, sometimes, you know, some people just don't get through it. Yeah. It's like that, that repeating. Back at square one all over again. And you have those that do, and they are able to be a living testimony for the next person. Because mm-hmm. you're always speaking to someone. Right. It was, it's always going to be someone to be like, you know what, I can relate to your story. That was me. you know. And then to be able to see that person got through it, it gives that person hope and strength and the ability to keep going. Amen. So then they can be a living testimony for the next person. <laughs> Which is why we have to endure. Mm-hmm. Hope. Everybody's story is a hope. Yes. It's, it's, it's some form of hope that inspires someone else. Mm-hmm. Like you say, when they're going through something similar, if not the exact same thing, that y- you're not alone. Mm-mm. You're not the only one. I did it. You can do it. Right. And we need to hear that sometimes. Amen. Yeah, and it, it comes through, you know, scriptures it comes through movies it comes through other music everyone can relate in it all it takes is a mustard seed Mm -hmm. a faith to instill within that person they say you know what let me give it one more try that one more try might be it it's interesting you bring up mustard seed because i found myself last week you know, we, we, we get caught up with, with saying a lot of familiar scriptures and mm-hmm. sometimes even sayings of, you know, just kind of maybe making it a prayer or submitting it to the to the Lord. And, you know, we hear often about having the mustard seed faith. And it just dawned on me last week, you know, just to ask the Lord, like, what is what actually is in the mustard seed, mm-hmm. you know, that, that we should be getting out of, you know, what you're saying? I, and, and, of course, we could just say, yeah, faith. But... For it to be so small. There is so much in something so small. Endurance, strength, willpower. It it can go beyond whatever you imagine. And I feel as though it, as long as you have that, because a lot of people want to give up. There's somebody watching right now that right. wants to give up. Don't do it. And you can't. You can't. You're almost there. You just got to keep pressing. Gotta keep pressing. We all been there. We all been through trials and tribulations, and then it's in that moment when you get to the other side, and you look back on where you were, 
when you be like, oh, that's why I had to go through that. Mm-hmm. It was for you, you know. So that's how I look at life. Somebody need to hear that from you. <laughs> Somebody need to hear that on the other yeah, side. And, you I know, I'm, I'm I'm a firm believer of, you know, our ears are tuned in to certain voices, and mm-hmm. you know, I guess you could say our makeup is tuned in to certain circumstances to yes. where we'll receive the message better from someone else. Yes. You know what I mean? At a certain time or from a certain person. Mm-hmm. I, I absolutely agree. And the Lord by design has just made it that way. Mm-hmm. But somebody need to hear that. Mm-hmm. To her point, let me tell you how I know you can make it, people. Let me show you how I know you can Speak make on it. Come on. All right, you know, Facebook got these things called, called, uh, 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 you get it, it take you, yeah. <laughs> 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 it take you back to memories. That's what I'm trying yeah, to get out. Yeah, memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yesterday I found myself looking through my memories okay. and I'm sitting there. I'm like, what was I going through in 2009? I was just, <laughs> it was just so depressing. <laughs> I'm looking back now. I'm like, dog, I just wanted to quit. But now I look at it. I'm telling you, people, it's gonna get better. Stay, <laughs> stay focused. <laughs> Keep your faith, people. It's yes. going to get better. Sometimes there are yes. dark times, but you can push through it, people. Yeah. 2009 was not good, though. I don't know what was going on. Oh, man. <laughs> you even, made it. I made it. <laughs> hey, even when you feel like you can't, just know you got to push through it. You got to. Hey, ain't no, don't make it another choice. You yeah, got to. You have to. And I kind of like that Facebook does that because it'd be like, hmm. Because sometimes there are positive messages. Sometimes mm-hmm. I'll throw, you know, it just depends on if I'm listening to a sermon on YouTube or whatever. If something really sticks out, I'll post it as a status because, you know, and sometimes I've gotten people, you know, secretive in my inbox saying thank you so much that helped me. Like, sometimes when things are placed on your heart to do it, you got to do it. Amen. It's not about you. It is not about not feeling like you can do it. If it's placed on your heart, you got to do it. I've given my last sometimes. But in that, it makes me feel better to see another person smile or mm-hmm. make me feel good to see another person just embrace me to say I needed that. You just never know. Yeah, and when you say that, I hear multiply because the Lord told us to be fruitful, multiply, mm-hmm. and replenish the earth. So it's like like you say, in those yeah. moments when it's on your heart, you just never know yeah. how that's going to multiply right. outside of yourself. Like for someone else and mm-hmm. what kind of fruit that's going to bear. So just... And it, it, ain't even ha- it don't even have to be about money. You know, it could be... Oh, no. A simple, I carry your groceries up stuff. Or, mm-hmm. or, you know, you need your car wash? I go get your car wash. Or you didn't eat today? Here, you go to the get you something to eat. Something that simple. Or you look nice today. Something that simple can really inspire a person. And I guess that's the mustard seed. Yep. It's small, small acts of kindness. Mm-hmm. We just never know what that may multiply. What it said, it grows to be the biggest tree mm-hmm. to where even the, the, the birds of the air come and nest mm-hmm. because you planted that seed and that was able to provide shelter and just a place of rest for others. Right. But um, where we at, man? Mm-hmm. Well, man, we, we go, it, it just runs by so quickly. <laughs> But well, we have truly enjoyed you coming to kick it with us today, Miss Shay Scott. I truly enjoyed myself, and I thank you to you for just allowing me to be here with you guys and blessing me with such a wonderful opportunity and really chop it up with y'all. We appreciate y'all you coming through. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell the people where they can uh, follow you, and I know you already said the music, but yes. say it again. Uh, for makeup, it is Shay Shay M U A S H A Y S H A Y M U A. For music, Shay Scott Music S H A Y S C O T T Music at M U S. Um, I see, and I can fo- be followed on Instagram, and um, Shay Shay Lovable is my Facebook page, but as I said, you can find my song, download it from any mobile app, music mobile app, it is available, um, so I just want to be a blessing to you, and I just want to thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in, and until next time. Yes, yes. So uh, y'all make sure y'all go uh, follow that Clark TV network. Once again, that's that Clark 
TV Network. You can check it out, ClarkTVNetwork.com. And uh, it, I'm telling you people, listen to me when I tell you it's this. Clark with an E. Clark yeah, Clark with an e. C-L-A-R-K-E. Mm-hmm. All right? TV. TV. Network. Network. <laughs> you gonna throw that dot com in there? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, y'all make sure y'all go check that out, man. Uh, keep in touch. Uh, 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 follow us on all social media at them royalty boys. Mm-hmm. I believe this Friday we're going to kick it with Ron J. Oh yeah, the and, home uh, of Ron J. And we got the big fitness expo coming up on Saturday, so uh, y'all check that out. Yeah. Yeah. It's all on our pages. I mean, if you don't follow us, I don't know what you're doing with your life. But if you don't follow <laughs> us, <laughs> at least follow Jesus. And with that being said, God loves you and we love you too. And we are out, people. Deuces. Yeah. Say that. What are you doing with your life? <laughs>